Hey there, welcome to new video. In this video we talk about grain delay. Grain delay is a really great effect. It can look uh, quite confusing at first, but uh, it's really, really simple. So let's dive into it. We have this XY module and basically we have to choose the effect on our X axis. So in our x-axis, so we have a delay time, we can see that now it changes, we can set the spray and as soon as we move it horizontally we have this value that changes. The same for frequency. Okay, now we have a frequency on both the X and Y, so this is mainly reacting to the X axis. Then we have the pitch, we have the randomized pitch and the feedback. So if we just choose two different effects, we can modulate them together with this knob just uh, as we can do with uh, the chorus uh, and uh, the flanger for example. Uh, now I'll show you how these effects sound. So let's set dry wet We have these uh, other effects going on, so let's reset these values. Okay, now. Okay, so spray and pitch depend a lot on the frequency. Then we have pitch. random pitch. And this is it, these are the effects. Uh, I highly recommend starting from uh, the presets that are available in Ableton so you can get an idea of what can work and what not this doesn't work. Uh, we have uh, Rush so these effects are really extreme I usually apply it in a more gentle way I tend to use uh, the pitch a lot uh, especially to make some tape stops uh, some uh, let's say hand drawn tape stops and tape starts by drawing an automation or recording the automation while I move uh, the mouse. So this is it for the grain delay. I invite you to experiment with it because uh, you can get some uh, really cool effects. So see you in the next video.